Hello and welcome back to Biblical Receipts Podcast. Uh, You've seen the thumbnail. You're looking at it right now. This is going to be a somewhat quick video. Um, If you've been living on the outside world, meaning you haven't been under a rock within the last 24 to 48 hours. You perhaps have heard about this video, the Diddy Assault video. It's been on CNN. They did an exclusive on it, and many uh, YouTube channels are featuring uh, this event. Uh, I would like to get your take on it, okay? Now, we all know what the Bible says about violence. We know what the Bible says about vengeance, right? We're not gonna go over that today. Uh, I'm I'm, I'm assuming or presuming we all know that, right? We all know what the scriptures say. Um, But the question is, If it was your sister, yeah, your sister, your mother, your daughter, cousin, a loved one of any type, what would you do in this instance? What would you do? If this was a close relative, a loved one, That's the question of today. Like I said, we all know what the scriptures say. Okay? We all know what the scriptures say about violence, taking matters into our own hands and things of that nature. But you know, one of the first things I thought about was uh, uh, Gethsemane when uh, that group of individuals came out to meet Jesus with clubs and swords to seize him, and Peter took a sword, chopped off one of the uh, individual's ears. You see, Peter acted in the moment, okay? But guess what? Him doing that, slicing off dude's ear, did not stop him from being an apostle. Jesus didn't say, Peter, uh, you know, you uh, uh, you could no longer be an apostle because you cut off this dude's ear. No, he didn't. He was still an apostle and a very successful one. Matter of fact, he was given three keys of the kingdom. Okay? So, we're all imperfect. We all make our share of mistakes. Trust me when I say this. All of you guys, my imperfections perhaps can mount up greater than all of y'all combined. Yes. I have, a, I have a past. I have a history. Trust me. I'm I wasn't I wasn't born in a gated community, put it that way. <laughs> Protected by life's uh environment. I, just like many of you, I was, you know, I'm a I'm I'm an old school hood dude. Old school. And that's how we pretty much handle things in an old school way. But anyway, I don't want to get into that. That's and I, and I tr- and I try to suppress that. But in instances like this, you know, our, our imperfections would come out old flaws will have a tendency to come out, especially when our loved ones' uh, lives and well-being are on the line. Okay? Now, I know what I would do. And I'm not going to get into what I would do. But I'm asking you, what would you do in this case? Please, by all means, you haven't held back in the past. Don't hold back today with your comments. I want to hear what you got to say. Now, I know some of you are going to be holier than thou and you're going to be, you know, doing all this, that, and the other. No, keep, let's keep it 100. Let's keep it realer. Realer than realer can get. Let's keep it the realest. All right? What would you do? That's right. I don't, ma- male, female, I don't care. And on the flip side, say it was a brother, your brother, cousin, whoever, getting beat down by a female. And I'm talking about, um, you know, um, you know, some females out there, you know, can bring can bring the smoke, and he does nothing. What would you do in that instance? 
Okay. Think about it. Think about it long and hard if you need to. <laughs> and let me know what you think. I, I, I would really love to know. Okay. With that being said, I'm going to end this. It's been five minutes and 20 seconds and I'm out.